hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to use uh, chart with your C sharp application now in this video I will show you how to connect your chart with the database so for example in my database uh, I have a database called database this one and it contains some data tables so for example I want to show the name versus age graph from the database so these are the all names and compared to that I want to show the age so I want to compare all the ages of all the employees for example then how can I represent this in the chart I will show you today so I have already written a program and when I click this button all the data of the employees or all the ages of employees will be converted into the chart so let's see so if you can see from here John has 27 age Mark has 55 Patrick has 22 so in the same manner this age comes here right so how to show this age I will show you in the code so first I will stop debugging this one and now the code so just double click your load button which we have seen load chart button which we have seen in the last video when I have shown you how to use this chart okay then double click it and just comment your previous code when I have shown you how to write a code for age score versus name and now you will write this code so first line is the connection with the database so write string con string is equal to double quote data source is equal to local host then semicolon port is equal to 3306 username and password this I have shown you I think multiple times so I, by the, this time you know what is this then write mysql connection con database is equal to new mysql connection and pass this string variable and then write mysql command command database is equal to new mysql command and in the command query you need to pass this so write select star from database dot e data that is my database name dot my table name and I have written star because I want to take all the values from the database of the table and then comma your con database connection which is this one okay then write mysql data reader give it a variable name my reader for example then open the connection just copy this variable and dot open and then write my reader is equal to command database which is this variable dot execute reader then make a while loop and write my reader dot read in the bracket bracket close and in that while loop we will pass our, our chart array or chart code so this is a one line code you can write it 
in two or three lines but I have uh, really cut down the code and put it into only one line so just write this dot your chart name which is this one just go there and copy your chart name which is chart one in my case so this chart dot series and the name of your series this thing I have shown you how to define the name of your series in the last video so if you don't know dot points dot add x y and then make a big bracket and in that we will pass two variables one is for name on the x-axis comma other is for age so just copy this my s my reader variable which is my sql data reader dot get string because name is a string variable or data type in my database so if you see in my database the name is a var care which is equivalent to string and the age is int that's why I have shown you this in the case of name I am writing my reader dot get string and your column name and in the case of age this is your x axis and in the case of y axis which is your age write my reader dot get int 32 so this is an integer we are taking from the database and the column name of the table okay so basically we are running this into the loop so it will go through every row and it will put into your chart right so it will keep on reading until the table completes so if you want you can just copy the code from here I think screen is not capturing the whole code but you know what to do okay so just pause the video and copy the code and let's try the code once again so I will write username and password and when I click load table it will give me all the ages of the names so name versus age graph you get so basically the idea is here just to pass your table column where column names or table column content into the chart and in the loop so it will read all the table rows if your uh, table data is string then write get string if your table data is int write int or otherwise if you write your table data dot so get so from here you can choose your data type character data type name date time decimal double float so you can choose whatever data type your column has okay so just change your column data type in my reader dot get whatever data type of table is table column is so I think you understand the basic concept behind that if you are able to understand this and this is all in the try catch block because when you are executing the query or, or your program if some exception comes then it will show you the error in the message box so this is really 
essential in order to find any errors in your code or any unwanted exceptions so i think you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now